All right. Uh, my name is Michael Berry. Um, I teach physics, AP physics, and IPS here at Haverford High School. I went through the schooling system in Pennsylvania here. I graduated from Central High School in Philadelphia and moved on to Temple University uh, where I got my bachelor's degree in philosophy. A lot of people say, wow, philosophy and physics, they're so different. They, but to me, I think they're actually quite the same, you know, in both really trying to figure out uh, something, uh, whether it's about the natural world or trying to, you know, understand things uh, on uh, a, a very deep level. So uh, I think that they actually are very similar. When I graduated from Temple University, I moved to the West Coast and I spent nine years out there where I got my teaching certificates in physics uh, and I took more coursework and so forth. Um, and I taught a year in San Francisco and then uh, my wife and I flew back to the East Coast and, uh, and set up shop around here. And so I, I soon got a job here at Haverford High School and uh, have been teaching here ever since for the last six years. Two babies, uh, Mason, who's about four, and Adria, who's a year and a half. Uh, the AP Physics is an AP Physics C mechanics course. Uh, so it is calculus based and we get deep into uh, a lot of the physics uh, that you would see in a college level class. So basically if you were to go to a college and take a calculus based uh, physics class for scientists and engineers, this is very similar. Uh, we do great labs, we do um, you know, we use a college textbook, one that, you know, a lot of times kids will see later on in their college years, uh, and it's a fantastic class. First of all, uh, Isaac Newton is probably the biggest. Uh, we deal with, in mechanics, we deal with this kind of classical idea of motion and, um, and dynamics and forces and, and so forth. So uh, Newton was huge with um, understanding uh, motion and forces and uh, gravitation and so forth. Uh, Galileo kind of set the, the groundwork for that as well. And then um, you kind of get into Einstein a little bit uh, because he kind of took what Newton did and kind of uh, brought it to a, a whole new level. So uh, for that course, uh, that class is uh, very challenging. Um, it is we have a specific amount of material that we need to get through and, uh, and it, the material is very challenging uh, but it's also really rewarding. Uh, you know, a lot of times kids will go through the class and they'll be, you know, you can see the excitement when they kind of go through and they finish the class that they're very happy with, with what they've gotten done. Um, it, is, it is a college level class and I kind of try to mimic that in, in almost every way. Uh, it meets every day uh, and it starts in the second semester. So uh, we start basically at the beginning of February and we go uh, until the end of the year. The AP test is generally a month before the end of the year. For that class uh, you need to have taken uh, Physics 1 and you need to have also uh, be concurrently enrolled in Calculus. There are generally about five or six tests in the course of the year. Uh, and then there's a project uh, at the end that kind of encapsulates a lot of the stuff. Uh, what we've done in previous years, sometimes we've built mousetrap cars, cars that are uh, powered by nothing uh, except for a mousetrap. Uh, we've also built trebuchets. And a trebuchet is a, uh, a device kind of popularized in, in medieval times. And uh, it's kind of a combination of a catapult and a sling. And so we have a competition to see who can get a tennis ball to fly the farthest. Come on down. We're very excited to, uh, to have new students join the class. It's a great class. Uh, it is extremely challenging, but it's also extremely rewarding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, what is